yeah, let me just think of a few uh, recent ones. Uh, there's a book that just came out uh, recently. Uh, it's called The Frackers. And uh, I think it's a New York Times columnist, uh, Greg Zuckerberg, I think, is the author. Um, and it's, you know, it's basically tracking the whole fracking and horizontal drilling industries. Th those, those have some very significant transformational impacts for decades for the United States and probably for other countries in the world as well. So I think it's, um, it's, it's just a good book to understand. Uh, and it's playing out in front of us, you know, in the sense that just as recently as five or six years back, you know, almost everyone was very concerned about becoming any energy independent and huge dependencies on Middle Eastern oil and all of that. And I think the the United States is well on its way to uh, basically fairly quickly becoming a net exporter of energy. So, so that, that's an important development. There's another another book which is in a completely unrelated. Wayne, which I liked a lot, it's called uh, Give and Take, and I think the name of the author is Adam Adam Grant. I think that's what his name is, um, and uh, that's an interesting um, interesting book. You know, he divides the world into three types of people: um, people who are givers, who are takers, and who are matchers. You know, matchers are people like you know, if I do something for you, or if you do something for me, I'll do something somewhat similar to you. And he just shows the kind of the amazing returns uh, the givers get. You know, people who are doing all sorts of things for all kinds of people without trying to keep score. And uh, I think that's another great book. So, uh, so these are some books I enjoyed recently. And um, there might be some others. I'll think about some others that might you might find interesting. Yeah, you know, actually, I I don't uh, I don't read. Uh, you know, people think I read a lot. I don't really read that much. Sometimes when I find a book that's really interesting, then I you know I'll I'll I like to pound through it. I would I would guess uh, that I'm probably reading I don't know 50, 60 books a year. My guess is a book a week type thing is my guess. And one of the things I do is um, I don't hesitate to abandon books. Most books could be summarized into five pages. And, and uh, I'm deeply disappointed that these authors don't do that. And uh, so, you know, many times you're going through the book and you're trying to find nuggets. And, you know, if I'm 40 pages into it and I can't really try to figure out where the nugget is, uh, I might give up, you know, and uh, because there's an opportunity cost. Um, and then, you know, I have, I have good close friends who will never, ever abandon a book till it's finished, no matter, you know, how useless it is. And uh, so you have people in, you know, full range of kind of spectrum on that front. But uh, my take is that, you know, if, if it's not somehow, uh, you know, grabbing me or delivering value in the first 40, 50 pages and it continues to do that, then uh, it's probably going to lose me. Yeah, I basically just cloned that from Warren and Charlie. Uh, so, you know, and I, I and it's a subset of what they do. So uh, I think they would be a better uh, reference for you. But I subscribe to three newspapers, daily newspapers, uh, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, and Financial Times. So I read those three newspapers every day. Uh, then I subscribe to a bunch of uh, magazines. And, you know, they are like Forbes, Fortune, Business Week, and The Economist, for example. So these are like four magazines that are showing up. Then we have uh, subscriptions like the um, Manual of Ideas. And I have a subscription to Outstanding Investor Digest, but I haven't seen an issue in I don't know how many years. So uh, 
Uh, I think it's been a couple of years since I saw an issue, but I would love to read that when that shows up. Um, and uh, yeah, and then beyond that, there's the books that I'm reading and then, you know, the investment research that is coming up and such. So that's, I think that's much, much of the reading is in that sphere.